if this is what a midlife crisis looks like i am firmly in it i am firmly in it hi guys welcome back to the channel my name is monique and this is the traveling jamaican i'm still traveling we are in florida hanging out with florida man <laughs> and all the crazy things that florida man always do so last video i told you all that i was leaving mexico and that is complete i have left mexico for good we don't know what the future holds i am a resident a temporary resident there for the next four years so i haven't even completed the one year residency yet so we will see what the future holds but for now mexico is not my home at all at all at all there are definitely some crazy things happening with um, the Mexican immigration authorities at the border, especially when it comes to Jamaicans. Um, especially after I did that video, I'm just hearing more and more. Hey, if you don't see an alligator, <laughs> if you don't see an alligator come out of the pan, you don't tell me, you know? <laughs> because there are ducks right there. So I know that there are ducks like swimming in the pond. But any little thing, my ear, me look. has me not able anyways so yeah ever since i did that video the stories that i've been hearing of other people who have been actually turned away at the border or just haggled and went through a bunch of things mexico is just not for me and it's just really not for jamaicans right now so i've left what's next oh lord what is next i've said it on the channel before that it's going to take some amount of financial investment for me to move back to jamaica um, because when i left i sold everything and left with the intention that i'd be gone for a good little while so to you know try and return a mere two years back boy the pocket the pocket the pocket the good thing about it is that jamaica is my home so i can always just jump back um, into a job hopefully i don't know what the job market is there um now because it's been a some time since I've been in the job market, whether wherever I am, I've always worked online. But you know, in, in order to build up back my reserves and be able to like get a place, get a car, get furniture, get all the things, a job is probably going to be the quickest way to do that. So I've already started putting out my feelers, trying to see if I can learn something before I even go back. You ever, if you're on YouTube, even if you're on social media, because I've seen it on TikTok too, those videos that say take six months sit down somewhere and work on yourself and you know work on your health work on your money work on your goals what you want to do in life take six months and just do that that is what i wish that this transitionary period was for me right now i really wish i had six months to just kind of sit down somewhere and be like work on you work on your next phase in life decide what it is that you want to do with life but I don't think I have six months. <laughs> I don't think I have six months. I know that I I should be here in Florida through Christmas. Um, but you know, I have a child who needs to get back to school. I need to, you know, get back a place for my damn self. So I don't think I have six months, but I, I'm using this next period to just work on me and my mindset and my health and my goals my goals what do i want to do with myself for this next period of my life this next phase of my life that's kind of what i'm working on right now um if i i can share some of the goals with you like i'm here in florida now and you know i'm staying with a friend so i don't have these humongous overheads right now and so for that i'm super grateful and with the at least the next 30 days i am absolutely working on my health i want to transform my diet and how i am eating i've already started like i'm cooking a lot more home i'm cooking a lot more at home so you know home-based meals are going to be healthier than eating out constantly and those last three months when i was in mexico trying to decide what i was going to do it was a lot of eating out like me did stop cook <laughs> so i can feel myself getting very sluggish and everything so i've started to cook more that i have access to a kitchen and i'm here not that i never have access to a kitchen in my own house in mexico <laughs> but my mindset was just all over the place and now i feel like i have more of i'm working on my goals tell us i may look around for alligator every minute you know um i'm working on my goals more and so 
I'm in the mindset now where I want to work on myself more and my health is one of my number one priorities. I'm working on cleaning up my diet and cooking more home cooked meals and just getting back to a healthier place, clearing up my skin. Um, I want to also make sure that I'm getting in physical activity, so my physical fitness, you know, losing some weight, tightening up, toning up some, certain areas of my body is definitely high on my list of goals right now. So that is something that um, I have this beautiful lake here. I can do some outdoor exercise. It is December, so it's nice and cool. Even for Florida, it dipped below the 70s um, this week. And you know, Florida people, as soon as it get, place get cold, and bring out the, the boots and the furs. <laughs> so I have been really enjoying the weather here and I want to get out and make sure I'm doing my walks and just getting in some physical fitness and physical activity. I would love to learn how to do my makeup properly again um, and you know, get some products while I'm here. <sighs> The, the difference, the thing with like, you know, doing any kind of shopping or any kind of activities is because I don't know how long I have here, there's that balance between saving everything to make sure that I have money to go home and, you know, spending and investing in me and doing that kind of a thing because you know munchkin is here with me and i don't want her just cooped up in the house every day so i, I have been thinking about maybe finding somewhere to that both of us can do tennis lessons that's a way for her to like meet some people in the area and just you know have people to talk to and hang out with while she's here because as a teenager you kind of need that social activity and I need the physical fitness. Tennis is something that she was very good at in school and you know I would do it with her just to get the physical exercise in. So that's something that I've been considering and I need to look around and see what the prices are like because that is an investment in health. Like I can not buy makeup products. That's not something that I need. It's something that I would love to learn while I'm here. But physical activity and investing in her fitness and her social you know just mental well-being is something that i think is definitely worth it so i'm looking into doing that while we're here even if we're just here for a few weeks you know a few weeks of tennis lessons is never gonna hurt nobody so that's something that i am looking into as well um what are some other goals that i have i would love to I would love to make the YouTube channel or my social media channels overall a viable income source while I'm here. And so that is why I'm down here doing my first video since I left Mexico and just kind of took some time to work on my mental, you know, just defrost is what I will say. It took some time for me to be like, all right, I'm ready to get back at it. But I realized that I don't have the luxury of taking six months off. I don't have the luxury of time right now. So I do need to be on my Zoom, as the kiddies would say, and get on it. And so if I want to do, if I want to make these channels work for me, then I have to work them. So I do have a lot of videos, video ideas um, planned for the channel again it's just the balance of do i spend this money to do these activities so i can do the videos or save all the money to go home it's that's always like in the back of my head but the channel did very well last month and i don't want to lose that momentum so um i do think an investment into my into what i'm doing here on youtube is worth it because i do definitely see where this can be a viable income stream and so any money that I spend to kind of like make my YouTube presence better is hopefully money well spent. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's just a little short update on where we've been since I dropped that video about how they sent back my mom. Uh, I'm so proud of her because that one video, you know, she was starting from scratch on her YouTube journey and that one video allowed her to become monetized. So her channel is now monetized. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description box below make sure that you go and check out her videos she's trying to find her footing her niche as well but she's in Jamaica so if you're interested in Jamaican content make sure you go subscribe to her channel so that she can have a viable income source as well because what she used to do in Jamaica um, is very taxing on a poor little old lady body so I would love her to find a different income source so that she can support herself fully um, I'm really hoping that that YouTube is something that she can do as well. So yeah, that's the update from me. 
us here in Florida on at least through Christmas how much longer than that I don't know because I am um, I would love to get Munchkin back in school for January so we'll see how that all works out um, let me know if you guys have suggestions on things that I can do and check out here in Florida while I'm here I'm in South Florida of course I'm looking for the best seafood boil place because I love my belly <laughs> so I'm definitely going to be trying out a few restaurants here within reason because as I said I'm working on my health journey while I'm here I'm definitely going to be doing some cooking content and some health content while I'm here so I'll catch y'all on the flip side. My name is Monique. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if it's your first time here and please hit that like button so we can make some coins on YouTube. I'm not afraid for beg. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.